Hey y'all, it's Carmen with Carmen's Three Ring Circus again. I apologize for my voice. It's that season. But I want to do part two on my potion bottles and why I'm doing them. I hope not to do a part three, but let's just take it from the last video. I did decoupage on it to make it look like that it was real leather um, or leather. Um, unfortunately, in my last video, I did not mention. I did. I know, I know it may have been confusing because my husband gets paper towels from work that come in an actual box, and they were two-ply. You could not rip them with your own bare hands. They were that strong. But now they've made new ones, and it is only a one-ply. Yes, you can rip it, but it's still very thick. On the original ones, you could not rip, but if you pulled the two pieces apart, it was the perfect texture that I used in my last ones. But you could possibly use paper towels from Dollar Tree. Just whatever that you feel comfortable with. Now, I did go ahead and use toilet paper on this, and it wasn't bad, and I had to let it do a lot of drying, but I also used my Chandler Tool um, heat gun, which you may think is a mistake, or maybe not. I thought so at first, but I would be very cautious with it. I think it needs to be dried overnight. I'm sorry. I'm losing some of my paper. Hold on. I'm going to try to make this quicker and not talk too much. But where I left off is I did the toilet paper and I let it dry overnight. And I showed you in the last video of part one that I used the decoupage glue that I basically have had. I get it from Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever. Dollar Tree... They may have smaller, but this works amazingly. Toilet paper, paper towels, anything that you can just kind of smush and mush. Now, with that being said, the first coat of paint, after it dried, the very next day I come back and I used... Oh, here it is. I just used a dark gray upper barrel. I think it's like 88 cents at Walmart. Normally, I would go with matte, but this is what I had, and it was gloss. Just your basic acrylic paint. You don't have to do that, but, and I'm not sure if you can see, I did a second of black, and that gray just barely shines through. Was it a waste of time? Maybe. But I'm all, um, as I'm talking to you, I'm just going to finish up, and I'm going to add the black which is, again, just another 88-cent bottle from Walmart. I think this one is gloss as well. I was trying to look and see if I had it. Oh, it's right in my face. No, this is Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Paint Black. It does not say gloss at all. I don't know if it is or isn't. It doesn't look it. It does look like it has a sheen. Either way, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this. I'm not worried about how much I cover. Because I don't mind this gray shining through. So I try to kind of keep it dry as well. Hit the highlight points. And no fuss, no muss. Which is why I like this. Now I will tell you, if you cannot see, which I'm sure you probably can. And I apologize if I've got a shadow. Using the heat gun, started melting my plastic bottle. Can y'all see that? I thought I completely screwed up. Now, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to work with it. Because I don't need it to stand up perfect. I don't need it to do anything now. That one's definitely not standing up. As you can see. But that one is. So, you know what? I'm letting it be whatever it is. That's the point of crafting. And what I'm going to use this for is not for the purpose of standing up. 
So, with that being said, oh, where's my water bottle? Um, my glass. There it is. Um, I've got my paper towel over here. I'm just going to take a little bit of this black off my brush. I'm still going to use the same brush. And I'm going to dry it out as much as possible. Because the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this gold metallic. Now I've had this, and this is what I used a lot with the bigger bottles I explained in my last video. But my daughter, my teenage daughter, is going to hold of it. So it's done. This is all I get left. Sometimes I will use the metallic. I love this metallic gunmetal gray. It's got just an old school sheen with it. But I would use very, very little. And I mean very, very like one drop will cover this whole bottle the way you need it to. But because I'm out of my gold, I'm going with that. I'm going to finish it off. And I'm going dry. So, as you can see, I did have to mix it up, and I'm going as dry on my brush as I can get. Why? Because I don't want to cover it. I want to hit the wrinkles. I may have to do more, but I don't want to hit it all. I just want to highlight certain areas. To make this look like a true potion bottle. And I'm going to pause right here. So that I can come back and not make this video uh, 50 minutes long. And you can see that even with me using my heat gun. Which I stopped doing that so it wouldn't melt it completely. Um, the intentions even... My mistakes is actually a highlight on something like this. So I'll pause my video real quick and I'll come right back and show you my next step. Okay, I'm going to try to hurry this up and explain it real quick so it's not too long. As you can see, I took my brush and I showed you in the last part that I just highlighted with the gold metallic. The next thing I'm going to do is I got this paper from Graphic 45 that was gifted me, um, and that's pretty much all I'm working with, except for the glitter paper that I ordered from Amazon. But this is, and I'll show you the paper pad. One second so I can pick up the paper I dropped. But... I was blessed with this graphic 45 paper crafting, um, unique paper crafting, graphic 45 paper crafting paper, rare oddities. Now, I know this is an older one. I'm not sure if you can find it anymore. And yes, it was gifted to me used, um, but I could not be more grateful because it's definitely my style and I needed Halloween. And so, again, thank you, Sweet Jenny, with Craft Creations. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bat paper. It was just a strip along some of the paper that was there, and that's what I used. And I will use it on my second bottle as well. But I'm going to wrap it around, and I apologize if I'm not doing this right, um, I just got a text in the middle of this. And so now I'm trying not to do a part three. But sadly, it looks like I'm going to have to do a part three. I need to check on my family. I hope you understand. But so far, this is where we stand. And next time, I will decorate the bottles. Thank you. And as always, I appreciate you so much, and I wish you the best.